awakened by the gentle glow of the Martian morning. You leap from your bed with excitement pulsing through your veins. Today marks the beginning of an adventure you've long anticipated. A journey to explore the captivating landscapes of the Red Planet firsthand. Your faithful robot companion awaits, its metallic form standing tall and ready for the day's exploration. Are you ready for our extraordinary journey? Yes, I am! You eagerly run outside the spaceship. Hop aboard the waiting rover. Buckled up, the engine roars to life. Propelling you into the unknown depths of Mars. Your robot friend followed closely, guiding the way forward. Look, there's Olympus Mons, the tallest volcano in the solar system. Your robot friend says, as you see a huge mountain rising above the horizon. It's 21,129 meters above the Martian surface but almost two and a half times taller than Mount Everest. You gasp in awe, imagining yourself climbing that, step by step towards the mission impossible, and wondering what the view would be like on top of the giant volcano. Is the volcano on Mars still active? you inquire eagerly. It's not for now. The last eruption was estimated to have occurred about 25 millions years ago. However, some regions of Olympus Mons are geologically young, so the possibility of future eruption remains open. Robot respond. You nod, note down the name of the volcano, and determined to discover more about the mysteries of Mars. As you continue your journey across the Martian terrain, your robot friend points out another remarkable feature. See that long crack over there? That's Valles Marineris, the largest canyon in the solar system. It started as a crack billions of years ago and now cuts a wide swath across the face of Mars. It stretches over 3,000 kilometers across Mars span as much as 600 kilometers across and up to 8,000 kilometers deep. You could almost fit Mount Everest in there. Let's fly across there. You could not contain your excitement. As you transform your rover into a single flyer, you soar over the expanse of Valles Marineris. Rugged cliffs stretch endlessly before you, disappearing into the distant Martian horizon. From high above, you marvel at the enormous rift, feeling a mix of wonder and fear. Flying past the Valles Marineris, you landed in front of a dry riverbed. Jumping off the rover flyer and bending down, you touch the base of the riverbed. You can't help but wonder what stories this dry riverbed holds. Was there once water on Mars? You look at your robot friend and inquire. Well, these dry riverbeds suggested water used to flow on the surface of Mars. They show that Mars had a wetter and warmer climate in the past and maybe even life. But now, most of the water on Mars exists in a frozen state, like ice. Primarily in its polar regions, with the southern polar cap being larger and thicker than the northern one. The polar caps are made of water and carbon dioxide frost. Check out their beautiful patterns and spirals. Your eyes lit up as an idea formed within you. If the ice on Mars will melt, Water, can we live there? 
great question, exclaimed your robot friend. But first, we need to think about how to keep the water from freezing. Because Mars is really cold, with an average temperature of minus 60 degree, the water will also evaporate too quickly. As Mars has a thin atmosphere compared to Earth, providing less protection against extreme temperature changes. We'd need smart technologies and ideas to make sure the water stays usable for a long time. Your robot friend's explanations sparked a deep curiosity within you. You thought about the friendly aliens that visited your dream last night. Perhaps one day, you could meet with one of them to learn and discover the mysteries of the universe together. Dreamwaver! You called out into the space. Can I meet an alien on our next adventure? Yes, of course, my dear little friend. But before that, we need to take you home first so you can learn and prepare all the questions you have for them. One step at a time, replied Dreamweaver's soft voice, flowing through the space. Home is calling. You knew it's time to return to the spaceship. As the spacecraft gently glided through the vastness of space, on its return journey to Earth. You settled comfortably onto the plush bed in your cabin. Good night, Mars, you whispered softly, until the day we walk your rust-colored soil again. May you rest well, dear planet of mystery and promise. The cabin was filled with a serene atmosphere you closed your eyes, imagining the possibilities that awaited humanity on Mars. Good night, dear little one. Remember, the journey back to Earth was just the beginning of a new adventure. With hard work, determination, and a thirst for learning, we'll continue to explore, discover, and make our dreams a reality. So sleep tight, dream big, and I'll see you in our next adventure. <laughs>